right, you're watching DefenseReview.com. I'm here with Matthew Khoury of uh, Talus, and um, he's going to show us this very uh, cool 70 millimeter rocket system, um, of which there are different rocket types, but the main thing about this is uh, essentially it's wireless. Yeah. It's, uh, so anyway, so let's, yeah, okay. let's take so, us through it. The, the idea of the system, uh, it's a new weapon system, which is given the possibility to operate the rocket without any connection. Okay. So compared to the 70 standard rocket system, which is uh, requested connection on the front and connection on the rear, you have here the possibility to operate operate the rockets uh, using uh, any tools and any maintenance. Okay, so you have a coil inside the rockets and a coil inside the launcher. A, a what inside? A coil. Coin. A coil. Coil. Okay, which are used to connect wireless the launcher and the ammunition to transfer the data and all the energy necessary to operate the ammunition. Gotcha. So we have here one coil. Yes. I will load the rocket inside the launcher. You will see really easy. A few seconds, rocket load, launcher closed, ready to operate. Damn. When I've done that, the coil which is in the launcher is now in the axis of the coil which is in the ammunition. Got it. The two coils are now linked, and you see here on this focus of the rocket, an electronic board is inside the rocket, and when the soldier press on the trigger to fire the rocket, a microcontroller inside the ammunition will receive the energy, detect the data, encrypt the data, and if everything is okay, we can start the rocket motor. The rocket motor will push the rocket and the rocket will be the mission on, on the trajectory. And this is a laser guided? In this case we have a specific rocket which is a laser guided rocket with a seeker on the front. Okay. Here you have the rocket with the fin open. Yeah. Okay. The rocket receive in flight the laser coat, the range to the target, and when the soldier operate the rockets, the rocket go out from the launcher. At Mach 2, he's starting to look around, and if he see a target on the laser coat, the fin open, and the rocket will go onto the target with a submetric accuracy, so it's below one meter. Right. And at the impact, we have a low collateral damage warhead, which is generate a bubble of destruction, and 20 meters from the point of impact is completely safe. So hmm. it's a requirement from the French Army. Right, and this is uh, and this is the 12 round launcher. Yeah, the 12 round launcher you have on the. Uh, I mean, this is a mock-up. It's a mock-up of the 12 rounds. So you have a 12, 22, 8, and this one is for UAV, a two shots. Right, so this is only stick in a helicopter. It's on a helicopter, but we can also put some of them on the fighter. It's a fighter or, or a fixed well. wing, some kind of fixed yeah, wing. That's yeah. right. So this system was in operation in Afghanistan, in Mali, in Libya, currently in Africa. We fire several really? thousand of those rockets, and we are proposing this rocket to the U.S. Army and to the Soviet Union. Well, well, let me ask you a question. How does uh, very quickly? How does the the destructive power of this compared to, let's say, a Hellfire missile? So Hellfire, it's a missile, so it's much more powerful compared to a rocket. Right. We can destroy a small vehicle, a truck, a sniper in a building, but we will never destroy a main battle tank right. or a heavy bunker. Gotcha. The rocket is only 9 kilo compared to 25 kilo for the Hellfire. Right. And the cost also is a third the price of an Hellfire. One third the price. Yeah, one third the price. But gotcha. imagine that you can bring on your helicopter Tens of them, in right. reality five of them for the same weight, and you can have a capability of mission which is much more important. Gotcha. Very cool. Thank you very much. Really appreciate it, Matt. Um, you, we are at the Talus Defense booth at uh, SOFIC 2015, and you are watching DefenseReview.com.